Let's review the account of Jacob and Laban together. Again, I'll start telling the story and try to leave out some details, and you can just kind of fill in the answers. You can kind of say the answers or guess and see if your brain can remember what happened. Because we had Jacob and Laban in the story, but before that, we had Jacob's father. Remember what his name was? His name was Isaac. And he got married to a lovely lady named Rebecca. I don't know if you remember all that, but they, and they had two, two children. One of them was Jacob. You remember the name of the other twin boy? It was Jacob and Esau. And they grew up and they were quite a bit different and it didn't work out. So Jacob, he left and he headed to the spot named Haran and he looked to find a wife there. He went all the way there. And now when he got to Haran, where did he go? Who did he find? Who were the first people he met in the land of Haran? They were shepherds. He asked them if, if Laban was well, if they knew him, um, and they said, yeah, we know him. And who did they say was coming? Who did they say was coming by the well? It was Rachel. Yeah, she was taking care of the sheep, and she was there. Um, and you remember what Jacob did right away? Because uh, they had a well. Remember what he did? He took the stone over the top, and he watered all the sheep and announced who he was. And Rachel, she went and got, who did she get? She got Laban. She went and got Laban to come, and he was all excited. He said, you can come and stay with us, and he did. Now, he stayed there for one month, and then do you remember what Laban wanted to do, what, what his idea was? Yeah, he said, you gotta do, you got to work for something. You can't work for nothing. And do you remember the agreement, the covenant that Jacob proposed? He said he would work for seven years, and then what did he want? He wanted to marry Rachel. And so that's what he did. He worked for seven years and he married Rachel. But do you remember what that tricky Laban did? What did he do? He didn't give him Rachel. He gave him Leah, the sister. Not that he didn't want to marry her. And he was all upset and frustrated. And so what did Laban say? It doesn't really fix it because it wasn't according to God's plan for marriage. But what did he say was an option now? He said he could do what? He could marry he could marry, still marry Rachel, but you just have to work seven more years, and that's what they did. Then Jacob was blessed. God, God blessed him, even though Jacob messed things up, because not only did he have his two wives, but they also gave him his maidservants, and he ended up having a ton of kids. Remember how many sons he had? He had, in total, 12, but he had 11 uh, by the time we finished this story. He had sons through all the... He also had daughters. He also got a bunch of sheep. And he worked there 20 years. And then he said, after Joseph, what did he want to do? What did Jacob decide he wanted to do? He wanted to go back. But Laban said, I don't want you to go back because the Lord blesses me through you. So name your wages and I, and I will pay them. Do you remember what Jacob said he would get paid? It was kind of a weird payment. He said, give me all the what? Give me all the spotted and speckled goats and lambs. Well, then Jacob and Laban both were real tricky and, and Laban grabbed the, the, the ones that were spotted and, and Jacob tried doing some weird stuff with branches and, and it was just a big disaster, but God still blessed because what happened to all the lamb and sheep that, uh, that Jacob was watching? They all began to get spotted and striped and multiplying, so he got really, really wealthy and then he was finally set and ready to go because the Lord said, it's time to go, time to go back. You remember what Jacob was concerned about? What was he worried about? He was worried about Laban's attitude, but also his brother Esau's attitude after 20 years. Would he want to kill him? But he did it because the Lord told him to. He decided to go back. He told Rachel and Leah, let's go back home. And that's what they did. Thanks for reviewing the story with me.